everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a Target haul for you guys. I went to Target today and I picked up a couple of things that I've been wanting to try and some things that I didn't even know existed. So if you really want to see this video, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dive in. The first thing that I got is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Intensa Mascara. So it looks like this and it looked really interesting. I don't know if you guys can see the brush. There we go. So the brush looks really interesting. I'm not really sure if it's going to work or what it's going to do to my lashes, but I'm pretty sure this week I'm going to be doing a um, review and demonstration on this for you guys so you can kind of see what it looks like on my lashes and things to look out for if there's anything like that to look out for. The next thing I got is the Maybelline Lasting Drama by iStudio. I don't know. It's 24 hour intense color smudge proof and waterproof. What is this? It's a gel liner. It's what uh, Jaclyn Hill uses whenever she does all of her winged liner videos. And so I just really wanted to try this. I have such a difficult time with liquid eyeliner, like getting the wing right. It always ends up like crazy, super thick and kind of hideous looking. So I wanted to try a technique by someone who you know, knows what they're doing. So I went ahead and got this and every single time that I watch her videos, it comes out so black and so matte. So I figured I would go ahead and give it a try. The next thing that I got is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Infallible Never Fail Eyeliner and it's supposed to be 16 hour wear. Um, I've been trying to find like a really good inner rim or like waterline black eyeliner and I know Arden Zian is a really good one but I've been trying to find a drugstore one that I really like and I've been using the Revlon Color Stay, but like it doesn't get it black it comes off gray and it's so annoying so I heard that this was good I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try and at the end I'm gonna open up all of these products and kind of show you what they look like the next thing I got is by Botanics and it's a voluminizing lip gloss and it looks like this. It's in the color Carnation. I've never heard of this brand before and I'm going to get into some of the skin products. I've been looking for kind of lip glosses, lipsticks, stuff like that, that are more organic and have better... I guess ingredients in them because I don't want to be sitting there eating nasty stuff all day. I mean, we all know that women eat their lipstick. So if I'm going to eat it, I want it to be good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to find like more, I guess like organic or at least things that are better for you and not like full of parabens and all of those nasty ingredients. So I came across this brand and it's an organic brand and it tells you for each product how like what the percentage is in terms of it being organic and then all of the products that go into are natural products so say they use like beeswax or something like that even if it's not organic it still is a natural ingredient if that makes sense like it's not chemical based so the next thing i got is from botanics again and it's a softening cleanser and it says that it removes makeup and impurities with nourishing rose hip and it's 82% organic. So this is like a really big size bottle of um, face wash and it says it's a softening cleanser. It should take off all of your makeup and everything like that and it's 82% organic. So again, all of the pro or all of the ingredients are natural, but 82% of what is in here is actually organic, if that makes any sense at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this brand a try. I will tell you guys on Instagram and Twitter what I think about this brand. I really hope that it ends up working out because I'm always looking for new stuff to try. And then I ended up getting, within the same skincare line, the Hydrating Day Cream. And it says it softens and moisturizes for 24 hours. And again, it has the rose hip in it. And this one is 81% organic. So it's just a big tub like this. 
And it's got really chic packaging. I like this. Let me smell it. I can't smell it because there's a thing on it. I'm not going to open it up, but I'll smell the face wash if I can. Okay, it definitely has like an herbaly scent to it. It smells a little bit like the brand Simple if you have that um, or if you've ever smelled that before. So it's just like a really clean kind of herbaly scent. Now I'm going to open up the other products that I showed you guys. I'm going to start with the lip gloss and kind of see how pigmented it is. I just love this color. I think it's such a beautiful pinky coral shade. Amazing for summer. And I'm always looking for a lip gloss that I don't have to wear with a lipstick that I can just like throw on. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to be walking around the mall and then have to like touch up your lips and have like five different products they're pulling out of your purse. All right, so the packaging looks like this. It has just the basic wand. Go ahead and swatch it. Okay, so you are not opaque at all, but that is okay. So it looks like this right here. I was expecting for it to be a lot more opaque, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I do like the shade. I think this would be really pretty on top of a lip stick. And I think it'll be really pretty on its own as well. So a little bit disappointed that it's not more um, pigmented, but it's okay. Next, I'm looking at the Infallible um, Eyeliner. And this is pretty cool. If you like smudgers, it has a smudger at the end. I never use that, but hey, it's there. All right. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so this thing is black. Look at that. And it like is so freaking creamy. If I didn't already have my makeup done, I would totally try this out. Okay, so I'm pretty excited about this. I think this is going to be what I'm looking for in terms of pigmentation on the waterline. But I will have to see how it wears throughout the day because I know a lot of those can kind of come off throughout. And then the next one I'm going to show to you guys. This is pretty cool. If you don't already have a um, eyeliner brush, the gel liner comes with a little brush like this. Focus, focus. And it's just, you know, an eyeliner brush. It's not a big deal. It's not the slanted one. It's kind of like ovally shaped. It's weird. So it comes in the little jar like this. And then this is the product. So you get a lot of product for how much it costs. I think it was like, Duchess, that is rude. She just growled at little Freddie. You be nice. Hmm. That was her, not me, by the way. All right, anyways, so now I'm going to open up the mascara and give you guys a little more the visual of the brush because I like to see brushes of mascara before I decide to buy one like if it's already in the tube even if it has a little picture I'm like really come on give it to me give it to me real so this is what the brush looks like it's really weird it's like I don't know can you see that it's like weird it's like skinny and then fat and then skinny and then fat. It's so weird. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll try it out. Like I said, I'm going to do a demo and a review for you guys um, probably sometime this weekend. And I will let you know what I think in the video. I just, oh, hello. That thing grabs a ton of product. Holy cannoli. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, I'm pretty excited about most of the products that I got. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you guys have a really good day. Bye.